Hey, it's Buddy from Root and Earth. Thanks for checking out another video. As always, likes, subscriptions, shares, and comments really help out the algorithm, and I appreciate everyone who has supported my channel. Um, today, I am in a pine grove. It is late August, and I am hunting Boletus pseudopinophilus, or the Eastern Pinewoods King Bolete. Now, boletes in general are a summer to fall fruiting mushroom. They fruit very prolifically in this part of the world, which is Western North Carolina. Um, we have quite a few boletes here that fall within the edulis group or edulis clade of boletes, which are together known as um, king boletes or porcinis. They are highly sought after culinary mushrooms. They improve with age as they have been dried and stored. And so this time of year, I spend a lot of time in the woods if I'm lucky enough to be able to hunting these mushrooms so that I can dry them and have plenty to cook with throughout the winter time. Um, I have an excellent specimen right here in front of me. As you can see, they get quite large. This is a young mushroom and it will be huge by the time it's done, as big as my head. And um, as long as they don't get bug ridden, the flavor is excellent even into that larger stage. And one of the things that I like about the Pseudopinophilus, as opposed to some of the hardwood associating Boletus clade mushrooms that we get, or Edulis clade, excuse me, is that the Pseudopinophilus tends to be much less bug ridden than some of the hardwood associates that we find in the area. And so I do spend a lot of time hunting the hardwood associates, but if you don't find those when they are very young, they tend to be just too bug ridden to mess with. Um, so these, if you can find an area to hunt these, they are quite a bit more gratifying to look for because you tend to find a lot more usable specimens. So let's pick this mushroom and then we will talk about identifying features of Edulis clade boletes. What a beauty. So when it comes to identification of Edulis clade boletes, it gets really difficult because we have an enormous amount of boletes of different varieties that grow in our area. And um, all of them are different. Many of them look similar in color, form, where they grow. But uh, even within the Adulis clade, there will be great variation between species when it comes to color, texture, ornamentation of the stem, but there are certain features which are common, and if you pay close attention to those, you will be able to tell the difference between the other boletes in the area. So, to begin with, boletes in general are mushrooms which have a spongy, poor surface underneath the cap rather than gills like a lot of mushrooms you'd be familiar with. The pore surface of Boletus edulis clade mushrooms begins its life stage as a white, bright white, and what is called stuffed pores where there are no pores visible. It just looks like cotton or foam, and it's just a solid, pure white surface. As this ages, it will fade to sort of a lemony yellow, and then uh, in some of the species, eventually to a sort of ochreaceous brown, and in other species to an olive green. But that is common to all of them. White, stuffed pore surface at the beginning of its life stage, fading through yellow, to olive or olive tan, olive brown or ochreaceous brown. 
Um, the caps can vary greatly in color. With Pseudopinophilus, it tends to be this sort of pinkish color, and as it ages, it fades to a light tan. The stems, if you've seen pictures of Boleta sedulis, this is a classic looking one. Very bulbous at the bottom, very thick, but they are not always like this. They can be quite thin, um, but they will all have this somewhat rosaceous tan color with a white background, and there is heavy ornamentation on the stem, which is called reticulation, and it's this raised net-like surface. It looks like a web or a net. And this reticulation is an important identifying characteristic of Edulis clade boletes. And in some of the hardwood associates, it will not be present whatsoever on the lower part of the stem, but at the very apex, it is almost always present. It can be so faint that you almost need a magnifying glass, but it will be there, and it is raised, and it is usually bright white at the stipe, or at the apex, I'm sorry. And so it'll be lighter in color than the underlying stem flesh itself, where some of the mushrooms which might fool you, quite often they will have this netting, but it will be darker than the stem flesh underneath it. That is most of the basic characteristics for Edulis clade boletes, although there are a few others. For instance, if you were to cut this mushroom in half, this mushroom will show no staining of blue. It might slowly fade to some uh, rosaceous tones, but uh, with a lot of the other boletes, if you slice them in half, they will very quickly or slowly stain blue through the oxidation of different types of acids contained within them. But those are the basic characteristics of Edulis clade boletes, and they are definitely some of my favorite of the year to be collecting. Now, when you're harvesting boletes, or any mushroom for that matter, a few uh, tips of etiquette about your foraging technique uh, that will help you have much better success is Never put dirty mushrooms into your basket. You know, it's perfectly fine to pull up mushrooms. It will only impact the ends of the mycelial threads where the mushroom has been fruiting, and it will actually make them grow quite a bit better. It is not hurting the organism. The mushroom is nothing but the fruit. It's like picking an apple. But don't ever throw a mushroom with a bunch of dirt on it into your basket or you will pretty much destroy your whole entire harvest because that dirt will get all inside of your other mushrooms. Now when I collect these, whether they're large or small, I cut off the very base, have a look inside, see if there's any bugs that have bored into the stem which there are, and so I will cut a little more off. There are still bug holes. The bugs bore upward from the bottom, and so if you chase them up, now I'm to the point where there's very few. That right there is not a bug hole. That's just a deformation where it has grown. So do that before you put them in the basket. And with older species or older specimens of boletes, this spongy layer will be quite thick. It's not the best thing to eat. And so what you wanna do, it very easily scrapes away and you can just remove this and you will have nice flesh underneath. With the younger specimens, if this is still white and stuffed or even young and fairly thin, I will just leave it on there. It's perfectly fine. 
but with the older ones you just simply peel it away the meat that is left slice this I slice it with my other caps and stems dry it until it's cracker dry I vacuum seal it you can keep it in jars as bullets in the edulis clade age after they've been dried their flavor actually improves and so it's like curing something and even up to about a year of storage they just continue to get better and better and so storing these up for winter time you are giving yourself a store of just amazing culinary ingredients that are very hard to come by one more time for the people in the back let's go over our key identifying features of Boletus pseudopinophilus a it is going to be growing in pine it associates only with pine it has reticulation on the stem which is this net like pattern the reticulation is white and raised with a tan to sort of rosaceous tan undercolor. The pore surface starts out white and stuffed, so it just looks more or less like cotton. As it ages, it fades to a lemony yellow and eventually to an olive. The cap is oftentimes a little bit sticky. It is a distinctive rosaceous tan color all the way to sort of a pinkish. They grow in midsummer all the way into fall. The stem is often bulbous at the base, but not always. If you nibble, taste, and spit this species, it will taste nutty and mild, not bitter. The flesh is white if you slice it. It will not stain blue. It may stain slowly to a slight, slightly rosy color, but not very strongly. And that's about it. Um, when we're talking about edulis clade, we're talking about mushrooms that share characteristics and flavor profiles with Boletus edulis. And Boletus edulis is a European species, although if you are lucky enough to have some groves of, of Norway spruce, that is the tree that it traditionally coexists and interacts with and so you may find it in North America as well but we have many species uh, throughout North America which are very similar and are some of in my opinion the best culinary mushrooms that you can possibly collect so get out there and find some edulis clade bolites thanks so much for watching hope you've enjoyed